Hello YouTube. Better yet, hello everybody. And how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing fine. I really do. I really do hope you're doing fine. I do. And I'm sorry, we're outside. And she's supposed to be playing, but she don't want to play. She wants to be up in my lap. Well, come here. Come here. Come here. You gotta come here. I can't pick you up your way over there. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. This is what y'all been hearing. As you can tell, that's what you've been hearing. <laughs> Sorry. She's uh, almost 11 weeks old, and she's a brat. But that ain't why I'm making this video. It ain't about the pig. This little baby. It's about what's going on in our world. What's going on in our world and in our country? Missouri. What happened in Arizona? What's happened all over the country in the last six, eight months? It's getting really bad. It is. It's getting really bad. Y'all know it's getting bad. And you know, what's really bad about all of it, folks, is What are we going to do about it? You know? Really, what are we going to do about it? I, myself, on the 5th and the 6th of July, I tried something. With no support to that fact. And what little support that I did get, helped a menaced amount. But we had something happen to us at the same aspect. We got, just like Missouri right now, the little infiltrators that come in. Well, we all want to get rid of democracy and be sovereign people with a true original constitution where we the people don't have to be broke and dependent on corporations the corporation that we all see and all feel and all know about is destroying us from your driver's license to your insurance everything that I've talked to y'all about for since 2009 and the folks out there that I've talked to way even before that. Whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, it doesn't matter. If you're seeing this. All friends that know what I mean. And yes, that was thunder. Hopefully we'll get some rain so it'll cool it off. Because it's pretty hot down here. One of the hottest days we had this summer. But the point of it is, is this, folks. The young black boy, according to a video that was done moments after he was shot, and he was laying on the ground, bleeding, prefer, prefer, 
more than likely dead at that time, especially being shot in the head. The point of it is, is this. The guys in the video were talking about it. And he said, man, he was charging him. He, says, he said, I thought he was missing him. He was shooting at him. He thought he was missing him. And the guy kept walking. You know, I know there ain't no proof of that for us. But then I also come across, me and Dutch, come across something else. And that was really the, the situation where we come across his, I forget what it's called, sound, uh, yeah, cloud, sound cloud, whatever it's called, and his Facebook page. We come across that and on a SoundCloud he's got some real real bad music on there. It's rap. But I ain't condemning him for his music. I'm not. But to go along with his music, there's also the scenario where he strong arm robbery some cigars. But now was it really robbery? We don't know that either. We only know what the man told us and the young boy and they both have conflicting stories. Right? Young boy told one story and the owner of the store told another. Right or wrong, right or wrong, indifference, it doesn't matter, does it? This has escalated to a point to where our freedoms are in very, very strong jeopardy right at the moment. With the Bundy ordeal, The Ebola ordeal that's still going on, I might add, with now this ordeal in Missouri. Folks, we are really in trouble. Do you hear me? I am talking to all of you. Every one of you. I'm talking to all the ones of you that hate me, all the ones that you that like me, the ones that love me. I, it doesn't matter. I'm talking to all of you. I really am. For the first time, I'm looking at you, or trying to. It's the only reason why. It's not about YouTube and the video, the views that you can get. It ain't about your website and how many views you can. For me, it's not that. I, do, I could care less. I could care less. I want y'all, I want all of you to really understand that it's not how or what we're doing. It is how we're approaching it. There's very few of you out there that are actually talking about corporate entity and why it's so bad. Along with what you're pushing. In every message or every video that you could show, you could talk about the police state and where the police state come from and how it's a corporation and how they belong to the corporation. Like the man, like the police officer says, well, I'll effing kill you. Straight up. And he had that fear in his face. Y'all remember what I mean by the fear? The guy was scared. He knew he was on the corporate entity side. He might not have known 
for an absolute fact that that was causing him a problem because he might not know what the corporate entity means he just knows he works that way not knowing that it really controls him and it controls our world there's things in this world that most people don't know like Occupy Wall Street let's go to that for a minute that was a big big ordeal very big and at first I thought it was going to be a good thing but then they done something almost like the second day that it happened they started chanting walking up down the street democracy and what happens with democracy folks it's 51 percent of the vote 51 5 1 51 percent now you got all those people in Missouri which they're doing a great thing but they're going about it wrong too and then you got the other people that are infiltrating creating chaos and havoc and getting people killed and hurt and harmed causing the police to want to come after them and throw tear gas at them and all of that which is bad it's not good people I'm not saying that we're not a free nation yeah I am I am saying that there's no way that you're free in fact I want to be quite honest with you there's some countries out there now that's got more freedoms than you do. Now, I know some of y'all don't believe that. But that's true. There's some countries out there that have more freedoms than you do. Now, they have different laws, different rules, and you might have to abide by different things that you're not used to. But in the long run, some of their rights and freedoms are better than yours. they are and the reason why is because I don't want nobody to get their feelings hurt I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings but I'm telling you straight up I am I'm telling you from my heart for what I've seen over my years of life and there's other people out there that's older than me that's got more sense than I do that's seen even more than me. But you don't see many of them to tell you the truth. They generally so deep in the corporation that they can't go anywhere else. But what I'm telling y'all folks is this. If we don't do away with the corporation and the corporation enter our lives, it's going to ruin our whole way of life in this country and I also want to add this to you and I want you to listen close when the United States completely collapses if it does and when it does the whole world will become enslaved in matter of days and weeks maybe months maybe a year completely enslaved just like the United States under something called the New World Order that's why people out there right now all of you all of you need to wake up to the fact and know in your heart and in your head that mainstream media television radio any corporate name behind it any corporate name I don't care who they are they got a corporate name behind them or 
sell out or sell out is that good is that bad I don't know Alex Jones at one time I used to thought, think that he was all on board but now I listened to uh, a radio show last night or this morning where Dabu Seven had went to Missouri and they asked him the question about Alex Jones and his if he'd seen any of those guys there and he said no he did not now I'm not trying to take words out of his mouth and I'm not trying to say nothing for this man I'm just saying I listened to the show and, and what I gathered from it is that he didn't see him at all and if he did see him or I mean not if he did he he said if they were there which he knows that they were there <clears throat> we all do we've seen stuff already he must have been behind the mainstream fence that they had put up the ones with credentials so that means there's a corporate name behind it is that why Alex Jones has grown so big now and he's been on television several times he's made a big name for himself and it's a corporation now is he leading us astray I'm asking. Now I've seen Alex Jones on a TV show or his radio show and he was literally crying just recently. I'm going to be honest with you people. Some people can turn on tears like nobody's business. Some can't. Women can turn them on at a drop of a hat, generally. And I don't mean that in a disrespected way. Please don't take it that way. But generally, most men <clears throat> have a very hard time. Well, I know I do. I've only had tears come out of my face twice in my life. Since I've been grown. Take that back three times. The first time was when my children's mother went off the Matthews Bridge here in Jacksonville, Florida. And she died. The second time was when my mother passed away. And the third was when my father passed away. And there wasn't very many tears either time. Very hard to cry. Did feel good though. But after my father died, I guess it was the way I was brought up and the way I was raised. I never saw my father cry but once in my whole life take that back I saw him cry twice that was when my mama's mama passed away and my mom cried and my dad cried holding her the next time was when my mom passed and he didn't cry much because he was being strong for me but I was being strong for him so he didn't cry because he was elderly and sick at the same time. He died a year later. And it felt like when both my parents passed, I got my children. It felt like when my father passed, and I don't know if most of you feel this way, but it felt like the torch 
You know what I mean by passing the torch? It felt like my father passed me the torch to do what he didn't complete. Now, I don't know whether y'all feel that way or not about y'all's parents and the ones of you that have lost parents. Or you just tried to forget those things. But I'm going to be honest. That's the way it feels to me. And I started doing this because I seen something wrong. My son come home from school and he was doing history. And they were talking about the Vietnam War. That's where the book started. I said, son, I says, this is as far back as this book goes, the Vietnam War. He said, yes, sir. And from that day forward, I started researching that. And I started researching. I started learning more about YouTube and websites and, and on and on. They wasn't teaching my son about history. They wasn't teaching my daughter, daughters, my sons. I was disappointed that my children didn't know nothing about, I guess people would call it ancient history now. But when I was going to school, when I was still in high school, they were still teaching us about the 1700s. I wasn't talking about the Vietnam War. I mean, it was later on, they talked a little bit about wars to come at the end of the book, but not at the beginning. It was teaching us about our history, even though even then it was still wrong, and it's still wrong today. Even what they teach you in the history book about the Vietnam War is wrong. It is. I mean, there's some facts in it, but it's not all accurate. There's a lot of agendas in that book to create more facts and more laws and more rules to take your freedoms away. The ones of you that are my age and even the ones that are you that are older, do you remember all the things that you did and if the cops did come and you were 16, 17 years old, What'd they do? They hollered at you a little bit or maybe hollered at you a little bit, depending on what the situation was, what you might have done. Uh, it was in a park and you was throwing rocks at the sign or whatever. I'm just, for instance, okay? And they didn't like it. Somebody didn't like it and they called the cops and they come out. What would they do? Today they'd throw you in jail. The cops comes to a, a location. Their first thing is to take someone to jail. Back in the day they didn't do that. There wasn't money in it. Everything that they done. They didn't arrest people for every little thing back then. Today, you get pulled over, you're subject to go to jail immediately. I'll give you for instance, I was coming back from the fair one night, and the alternator belt come off of the, the vehicle that broke. And I was in the <clears throat> middle of nowhere. Well, it wasn't really the middle of nowhere, but there wasn't nothing open. It was 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. Or it might have been 1 o'clock. It was when the fair closed. And the bell broke. 
So I turned my headlights off. And this police officer pulled me over. And he was giving me a ration of shit. I said, sir, I said my alternator belt broke. I said, I ain't got no lights. This is what this man done. He said, well, you turn your lights on and I'm going to follow you till you get home. Make sure that you don't, you know, you don't run down. If you do, we'll push it a little ways. I said, okay. That's all I got. But today, if that same thing was to happen, he would have probably loaded me in jail or given me a big citation and just drove on but minded his own business. So I don't move this car till you get somebody to tow it. Now I'm 17 or 18 years old. I ain't got a pot to piss in. I've been to the fleet, to the uh, fair. Done spent all my money on my girlfriend and alternator belt breaks. So how am I going to get a vehicle to? See my point? But he was a good man. But I had one here about a year and a half, two years ago. Riding behind me, there was a rescue squad going down the road, flying. And he had his lights on, and he was flying behind them. But I was in between him and the, the ambulance. Well, he turned his lights off, and he slowed down. I didn't think nothing about it. Well, we got up closer into town, and there was a red light. The only thing that I could see was his blue lights and the top part of his windshield on the back end of my vehicle. I was in a truck. He was so close to the back of me that I couldn't see nothing but the top part of his windshield, about that much of his windshield, and then the red lights at the top because it was a street light. I could see that much. Well, the light turned yellow. So I gunned it, because I didn't want to slam on brakes and him run into the back of me, because he was too close. He was way too close. Now, I didn't have no backup camera to prove it, so he pulls me over. First thing he wants to know is my license, registration, uh, and my insurance card. Well, I gave him this piece of paper that was a registration for the tag. Well, that wasn't the right one for him. And he told me to shut up and listen to him. And do you understand? And I said, no, I don't understand. And I kept talking. He said, you want to go to jail? I says, no. I said, I don't understand. Straight up. Well, he walked off. He went to his car and he brought me back. A ticket for speeding because I gunned it to go through the red light to keep him from running into me, and another one for running uh, for running the red light. Well, I followed in court, and I didn't get the points, and I got off of the partially off the ticket. I had to fight the corporate system corporately. But he was rude, he was mean, he was arrogant, and he was an ass. I didn't go to jail, but I thought I was going to go to jail. Because he was just that much of an asshole. Something's happened to some of our honest police. Now, there's still some out there. But they're not being trained in the right manner anymore, folks. They're not. They're just not. They've been trained as corporate soldiers. They're being trained. They're being trained to be military oriented. And I ain't got no beefs with the military 
and then becoming police officers. But I do want to say this. You took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. And I don't see none of you out there doing that. You also took that no, not many people know that you took a secret oath. Just like lawyers and judges to uphold the corporate entity. That's what it really means. And when you do an oath to the Constitution of the United States after 1871, you're not saying that one right either. So you're doing it twice to the corporation. You need to restate it and learn what it means for all of yourselves, for your whole family. The ones of you out there that are cops, the ones of you out there that are lawyers, the ones of you out there that are judges, politicians, in this new world order horseshit that y'all plan, you're going to die soon. Not meaning that as a threat. I mean that we are all dying. We all die. Some of you may live to 80, 90 years old or 100. But after that, you're going to be gone. And you're going to leave behind family, children, grandchildren, maybe even greats. How are they going to live when you're not here with all of your greed that you have? Are you going to have enough money left over for them? No. Because somebody somewhere along the line, somewhere along that long line, they're going to steal that money. They're going to get it away. Are you going to end up like JFK Jr.? Dead too. You hear the good Lord talking to you? That's what he just said. That was thunder. Maybe he's talking to you, through me to you right now. And I don't mean no just all these new religions and all these religions. I meant the man, the only one. There's only one. Which one are you praying to? Which religion? It's not a religion. That's a God. Remember that. It's not a Bible because it was written by man. And you got all those preachers out there who want to preach all these different things and lead you in the right direction. Are they? You sure? Are you real sure? There's multiple religions. There's multiple beliefs. God is inside of all of us. We all have the belief of some sort of God or some sort of religion. I would say get rid of the religion, but don't get rid of God. I try to be the best person I can be. I'm not perfect. Never claim to be. Never will, because I know I'm not. But I will tell you this. There's a lot of people in this country that is running our country 
that are straight up thugs. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. They criminals. They steal. They connive. They trick. They twist. They mangle. They lie straight to your face. They look, get right up on you like this and lie straight in your face and tell you that red is white. And you believe it. I know that's a little odd to hear me say red is white or red is, or white is red. Doesn't matter. But that's what they do. Mainstream media twist everything. If he makes, if our president makes a mistake, he makes just one mistake, they twist it. Oh, he didn't mean it like that. He meant it like this. And he meant, uh, yeah, 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 Really? Do y'all really believe that in your heart? I know you don't. You know that that man is a fraud. And you know the man that was in office before him was a fraud and a crook. And the one before him and Daddy Bush was the first, the first, the first, listen to me, the first man to ever mention the New World Order. That's right. He was. And ever since then, everything that's happened ever since then, all the major disasters, it seems, not that I can prove, but it seems, and there's a lot of proof to prove that it is or could be an inside job like 9-11 for sure folks I've talked a long time and said a whole lot of stuff some of you will sit here and listen to this and some of you are not going to and you know I understand I'm sitting here, I'm not reading off no script, and I'm not taking no notes. Just talking to you from the heart, I guess you could say. That's all I can do. I'm not going to sit here and read you a script like some do. If I want you to read a script, I'm going to have a robot read a, an article. That's all I'm going to do. I love people of all races and all creed. And I want them to have the same free rights as all. All men are created equal. It's up to us, folks. It's up to us to make our land, our homes, really ours. Taxes on property shouldn't have never been involved. It makes your property not yours. It makes it to where they can take it at any moment for any reason. And they do that quite frequently. Just look it up. And you people that live in homeowners associations, pay your dues. Or they gonna take your property. Do what they tell you to or they gonna fine you. And then they'll get it up. Because you flow, or you're flying a flag inside your garage and it's upside down and you got another one outside because you don't like what's going on and they don't like you because you're flying a flag. So they're going to take your home away from you, something that you pay for. And they're not going to give the mortgage to those people that they give it to. They're going to keep it in your name. 
That's right. Remember that. So with that, folks, I, w I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I really do. And I hope for all of us and all of our sakes that we can get a grasp on the problems in our country and start working as a unit. And I mean this, a unit of people. That's what it's going to take. That's what it's going to take as a unit of people all over this country to work together. Like the May Day U.S., and they got their $7 million. If they got their $7 million, then maybe they need to help us get more people out there to work this situation so we can all be sovereign American, God-loving people of all religions because all religions have the same thing in them. And they do. So from my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government for your freedoms if you really, really love them. Much love. Have a great day. Closed sections for updates every day. Abolish corporate government from my cold dead hands. Much